You own a house and you wanna buy a house. Well, before you can step foot into a potential house that you wanna buy, there's a couple answers that you need to know. In this video, I'm gonna walk you guys through the process of whenever I have a client that already owns a house and they wanna buy a house. So the first question that you need to answer is, do you wanna sell your house? Let's assume that you don't wanna sell your house. If you don't wanna sell your house, then you need to know, can I qualify for a loan without selling my house? The first thing that you're going to do is you're going to get with a mortgage lender. That mortgage lender is going to run your income, your debt, your credit, and then you might type up a lease agreement that shows, hey, here's the potential rent that I could get from my previous house. Based off of that, they'll be able to tell you, you could still have this house and then buy another one. Or they might say, hey, you know what? You, you just can't be approved for the next house that you want to buy and you might need to sell it in order to get that down payment, the profit, and use it as your down payment. Question number two that you need answered is if you are wanting to sell your house before you buy another house, then you need to know how much you're gonna profit off of selling your house. And is that profit gonna be enough to get you into the price range you want? Because you might be approved for, let's call it $250,000, selling your house or even without selling your house but you might want to be in the price range of four hundred thousand dollars that might be the criteria of homes that you want to be in so you need to make sure that what you're making off the sale of your house is going to put you into your next house because if it's just going to be the same house as your previous one like condition quality your built modern features you might as well just stay in your previous one there's one last important question that you need answered if you know what price you're approved for, it's going to tell you, are you in the used home category or the new home category? If you're in the used home category, then you need to put your house on the market before you start looking for a used home. In this market that we're in, if you're watching this video sometime in the future, make sure to call me to make sure that the market's still the same. But we're in a seller's market right now. Sellers have the advantage. It's very unlikely you're gonna find a home that you love to death and a seller is going to accept your offer without your home even being on the market if you need to sell it. So your house needs to go on the market first and then what will happen is we put it on the market, we get a buyer for the house and we tell that buyer, hey, we need a longer closing date or I need you to rent the house back to me while I look for another house to buy. Now another scenario which tends to be a little bit less stressful is you're going for a new construction home. And if you're going for a new construction home, there's a good possibility that the perfect floor plan on the perfect lot from the builder that you want is nine months away, six months away, three months away. So in that scenario, you have time to reserve it. You don't gotta pay anything except the reservation fee, typically a thousand, two thousand dollars. So you reserve it, and then about a month before the house is gonna be completed, you put your house on the market to sell. You just gotta make sure that your house is going to sell. If you price it at the recommendation that your trusted realtor gives you, more than likely you're good like a month before, month and a half at most. If you're shooting for the stars and, you know, I hate to be blunt, but if you think your house is worth more than it is and you're looking for some random cash buyer from California, then in that case, we might wanna list the house ASAP because it's gonna sit on the market, might not even sell. So you'll have to drag it out and then eventually drop the price and then sell it. But new construction is a least stressful way to get into a house because you have the better ability to reserve the house you wanna buy first and then time to prep your house and go ahead and sell it. All right, so now let's talk about some tedious details that really isn't specific to selling and buying, but it's just more correlated towards buying in general. So if you're buying a new construction in general, something you'll have to ask yourself is, what mortgage lender do I wanna go with? There's some builders that they're not gonna give you the incentives that they're offering if you go with the wrong mortgage lender. Some builders out there offering 6% contribution. What that translates into is an insane amount of money for buying a house. Like, there's no way you're gonna get that on a used home. It's pretty rare still on a new home. Just multiply, 6% by the purchase price. It's crazy, it's crazy. But there's some builders that offer 2%, 3%, but they might not give that to you if you're with the wrong mortgage lender. 
So once you narrow down what builder you want, you also gotta see, am I with the right mortgage lender? And your realtor will help you with that. Also, there's builders that just bluff and they say, no, nah, no, nah, you, you need to be with our mortgage lender. And then I come in and I'm like, hey, you know what? They're not switching. Either you sell them this house with this mortgage lender and give them the same incentives, or they go buy another house. And then they give you the same incentives, you stay with your mortgage lender. Some builders are more strict than others, so we'll figure that out when we get there. Next up is if you're selling your house, there's a couple ways that you could sell your house. You can sell it as is, the way it is, stress-free, don't do much work. But if you're putting less work in, you're getting less money out. So if you just wanna have it stress-free, we're gonna have to list it at a lower price. If you're willing to declutter the house, make it clean, put some things into storage, make the house just look bigger than it really is, and do some touch-ups, touch-up paint, repairs, and just really walk through your house, put your buyer glasses on and think to yourself, if I was a home buyer, what would I want fixed in this house? If you're willing to do that, then we'll be able to list the house in today's seller's market, a little bit below market value, get multiple offers, and we'll definitely get market value, if not a little bit more. It just happened to me where I got $3,000 over market value uh, with a seller that was doing this exact thing because she put the work in. She painted her purple walls white, her brown walls white. She decluttered the house, put things in storage. I walked in the house, it looked brand new. And what it does is it creates emotion for buyers. Emotion equals them convincing themselves to buy the house with logic. So if you're selling a house and you're buying a house or you own a house and you're buying a house, you need to figure out are you gonna rent it out or are you gonna sell it? And if you need to sell it, you need to figure out, are you going for a used home or a new home? If you're going for a used home, list it right away. And you need to figure out, how are you going to list it? Least stress or more money? If you're going for a new home, find your new construction home, reserve it, then put your house up for sale. Of course, depending on the price, if you put it at a high price, you need to list it ASAP. And if you're renting it out, well then, you really don't gotta worry about selling it. You can find your house whenever, and then the tenant will come easily. This process can be extremely overwhelming and even a tad bit confusing. I know it for a fact, because me explaining all this information, I'm just thinking, man, like, I wonder what the average homeowner and home buyer is thinking right now. So with that in mind, feel free to call me at any time. I wanna take care of you guys, I wanna help you. If you don't have a realtor, that's great. I would love to earn your business. And even if you do and you just need a little extra advice, I would love to just answer a question for you, not step on anybody's toes. My number's public, here it is right here. Feel free to call me at any time.